The next thing we would like to do is to create our floor slab. Once again, it's on our architectural tab. We're going to come down here to our floor tool, click the drop down for floor architectural. Now we are in floor sketch mode. Here I'm going to use our rectangular tool to trace the perimeter of our walls where I want the edge of our floor slab to extend to. I'm going to click this edge as well. You see my locks appear. If I want to lock to the edge of this wall, I could do so, but for the purposes of this exercise, we're not going to do that. I want this floor slab associated with level one. We're going to use a generic 12 inch floor slab. So I'm going to just click the green check mark to end this floor. I'm going to click in model space just to deselect that floor slab. Now we have created a floor slab at level one. The next thing I would like us to do is to create our section. So if you remember, we can access this from our quick access toolbar and I'm going to create a section. I'm going to click, drag through my plan, click again to end my section cut marker, my extent, I'm going to click and drag it a little bit further. I'm going to deselect my section and double click on my call out to bring me into my section view. The next thing I would like to do is to copy up our floor slab to the second floor to give us a base from which we will edit and cut a hole for our two story space. So now that I've selected our level one floor slab in plan, I'm going to come up here to clipboard, click for copy. Now you'll see Pace becomes an active option. I'm going to click the drop down, aligned to selected levels. Click level two, which is where I would like to copy this floor slab to, and hit OK. Now Revit has copied this floor slab to our second floor. I'm going to click on our level two floor plan. And now I would like to edit this boundary so that I can cut the floor slab out of this area. We are now back in sketch mode. I'm going to come in with my line tool. Find this outside edge of my column. going to hit modify. Now I'm going to use my trim command to trim up the edge of this slab. Here we go. My slab sketch looks okay. I'm going to click the green check mark to end. Would I like the wall to go all the way up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? I'm going to click no. Now that we have cut a hole in our second floor slab, the next thing I would like us to do is to add a railing around this two-story space. So we are still in our second level floor plan. We're going to come up here to the architectural tab, down to circulation. I'm going to click my drop down again and click on sketch path. The base level I would like to create this at is level two. I'm going to come in here between my architectural column wraps, snap to both ends of my columns. Now our railing path needs to be a continuous line. So although I would like to create a railing here as well, it needs to be done in a separate 
sketch. So I'm going to click my green button just to end this sketch and we're going to come back up here to railing sketch path on our architectural panel and create another railing. Going to click our green check mark. The last thing I'm going to do with our railing is to make sure that we change the type as I asked for in this lab exercise. So I'm going to click on my railing. I'm going to hold down Control and click on the, the other railing I would like to change come back here to my properties menu and change this railing to a guard rail pipe. Select in space and now we have the proper railing type. The next thing I would like us to do is to create a camera view and then modify its parameters so that we can look up into this two-story space. Now it's important when we in, before we insert our camera for us to remember that we would like to go back to our level one floor plan because that is where we like would like to be standing for this camera. I'm gonna come up here to our quick access toolbar, click on camera. Click once to set my station point. I'm going to drag out here into my second floor space and now you'll see I'm sitting at five foot six but I'm not quite looking up so in order to look up let's come over here and take a look at our properties menu if I scroll down as my camera is still selected you'll see from my eye target I have five foot six and for my target level I have five foot six as well well we have a 12 foot floor to floor so I'm going to change this five foot six to 17 foot six so that I'm looking up to the eye level of the second floor approximately I'm going to click apply through that modification we have now changed our property such that we are looking up into the second story of this space. Camera views can be graphically changed from a section view as well. So let's double click on our section view and take a look. I'm going to right click on our camera view, click show camera, and now you can see where we've turned our target elevation to our second story. I can click and drag this node to control as well. However, using our properties menu in the camera view is more accurate at setting the target elevation to a specific height. Now let's rename this camera view view looking up. I'm going to click OK. And the last thing I would like us to do is we're going to create a 3D view that we can look at our design in three dimensions. I access that from our quick access toolbar default 3D view. Don't forget about the view steering cube that will allow me to rotate this very easily to whatever axonometric view I would like.